I'm Mike and today I'm going to be taking you through my review on the Nescafe Milano coffee machine. Firstly, a quick overview about the Nescafe Milano. One, it is an instant coffee vending machine which has typically eight canisters which can be transformed into four smaller canisters and it has eight drink selections. Like every coffee machine and like every vending machine, it does have its pros and its cons. Today I'm going to take you through both of those from my point of view. The pro number one for the Nescafe Milano. It is supposed to be Nescafe's highest end instant coffee vending machine and it's made intentionally to be used with a specific coffee which is made for the machine called Nescafe Milano instant coffee or instant freeze dry coffee and it is quite a bit more expensive than most generic supermarket brands but it is a really good instant coffee um, so it's not the same level of beans in terms of quality but it is probably as close as you can get in instant coffee to a bean level so if you're looking for a good instant quality coffee vending machine, Nescafe Milano could be a good bet for you. Pro number two, like all vending machines, it's super simple to use. There's only one place to put your cup. You have eight drink selections which tell you exactly what they are. So there's a cappuccino button. When you press cappuccino, you're gonna get what you expect. So first time users, this machine's super simple to use. No explanation needed. Pro number three, now, a problem with a lot of instant vending machines is that they're designed to be an economical vending machine. And because of that, they kind of look bland. They don't look great. Now, Nescafe machines, especially the Nescafe Milano, looks pretty awesome for a vending machine. Black finish, black and silver background. All the buttons have a little backlight behind them, like a blue type of uh, light shining through. So it's kind of a great showpiece for a company and sometimes even a restaurant. So if you're looking for something that looks amazing and that's still an instant coffee vending machine, you can't really do much better than a Milano. Well, pro number four, lots of instant vending machines are out there these days. Lots come from China, lots come from India, and you do get some good ones from China and India. Now, all Nescafe Milano machines are made in Italy, and their build quality forever has been great. So if you want a machine that is super reliable, Nescafe Milano could be an amazing option for you. So now onto the cons, onto the bad parts about the machine. And unfortunately, every machine has them and the Milano is no different. So for me, there's typically three major cons of the Milano, which would maybe mean you, would, you should look elsewhere. Con number one is, depending really who you are, but like all the other Nescafe machines in the range, it is a powder milk instant coffee machine. So if you want the best quality coffee out there, this is just not going to give it, for you, give it to you. You have to go for a bean to cup fresh milk or even a bean to cup powder milk machine if you're looking for the top quality coffee. You cannot ever get that from any instant coffee powder milk machine out there. Second con is price. Now you get a lot of quality for this, you get amazing aesthetics in the Nescafe range, but it's not the cheapest machine out there. So if you are looking for really bottom of the range economic machine, this is probably not the machine for you. Third con is Nescafe typically, depending on your region, is, sell, is sold or rented and serviced by only a few select companies. And pretty much what that means for you is that you're a little bit reliant on that one or two company in your region service or service level that they're gonna provide for you. Whereas other brands who have lots more providers kind of have a bit of a safer overall type of risk profile in terms of you getting your machine from them and getting later after sales service. I hope you enjoyed that review. If you did, please like it, please leave a comment below or please subscribe to our channel for future reviews so you can be always up to date about the good and the bad all machines out there.